Sober Halzon, Halzon meaning Golden Eagle, is one of the youngest Sober teams in Russia, and that's no wonder seeing as they were formed in the immediate aftermath of the annexation of Crimea, their main jurisdiction. After the war between Russia and Ukraine started, Russia extended an invitation for members of the dissolved Ukrainian riot police force called Brukut to join the new Russian formation of the same name in Crimea. The word Brukut also means Golden Eagle, and while there's both a Brukut unit and a Halzon unit in Crimea, Considering that both units were under the same commander, a Ukrainian defector, it stands to reason that Sober Halzon is at least partially composed of former Ukrainian Burkut members. In recent times, their gear set has become one of the most popular loadouts I see in war games due to the budget-friendly nature of the kit and flexibility given to the firearms configurations that they use. There is also a lot of crossover between their kit and other Sober units as well. If you're looking for a modern loadout to build to break into the scene without breaking your piggy bank, I can wholly recommend this one. And at the end of the video, there will be a cost breakdown to show you just what I mean. This loadout video is a guide to Sober Halzon Kit. I'll try to keep this video short. The primary uniform Halzon makes use of is an ANA tactical uniform set in ATAX FG. The uniform is simply a knockoff of a Cry Army custom set made out of ripstop fabric. Halzon almost exclusively makes use of the LSHZ OnePlus helmets in low cuts, painted black or occasionally green, with the fabric ATAX FG covers. For hearing protection, a lot of GSSH 04 headsets can be used. Though during training, cheap powered light with probe can be seen in use or even just earbuds. The primary plate carrier in use is the MPO Monolith, seen in use in multicam, black, and olive drab, along with its matching war belt. Many off the shelf pouches from various Russian brands are used in conjunction with the vest. My buddy in his house on loadout has secured a source for the Russian Monolith vests on his new website, Outpost Armories. Link below in the description, as well as a discount code. Now, one thing I should note about the Monolith is, even though it's very cheap, the carrier itself is somewhat reflective to IR light. I would not recommend using it at night if your enemy has night vision devices. To further this point about cheapness, Chinese Baofeng radios are commonly used by this unit. These compromises make for a much cheaper kit, and most sober units aren't built to deal with near-peer adversaries. Your local bandit isn't going to be running night vision. An alternate plate carrier seen in use is the Classcom Tactica. It might prove better for IR dampening, but I wouldn't hold your breath. The weapons accessories used by Halzon are all over the place. There's no universal standard here, and they sometimes keep their weapons in their stock factory configuration. Halzon usually wears black leather boots with their kit, and you can use this code to get some German combat boots for low cost from Commando Store. Speaking of low cost, let's calculate the cost of this sober kit in its entirety. I'll be using general market values for the cost of this kit. Now, that total cost of 1500 is still quite steep. However, if you replace the GSSH-4 with a replica or with entirely kosher Howard Light ear protection, you could shave off a couple hundred dollars. Replace the helmet with a replica, and the cost drops down to $750 for the entire kit. Considering that the Russian helmets have an inflated price in the US, it's easy to see why they represent a golden crown on this otherwise budget loadout. If you use a replica helmet or a disguised American low-cut helmet, You'll find that Sober Halzon kit costs less than half of the Sober Tarek kit price, which is still 1600 even though Tarek uses cheaper Chinese Militech helmets as standard. And that's that. I told you I would keep it short. I hope you've learned something about a more typical Russian Sober unit. Please consider this video an invitation to start building a loadout of your own, whether it be an impression or something for your own practicality. I hope to continue to see your support going forward, as my next projects will prove to be much more insane.